Welcome to another video. Uh, today's video is going to be about uh, using Python 3.6 uh, and the Tweepy library. Um, this tutorial will show you how to stream tweets based on a hashtag out of Twitter. It, it'll do some real-time uh, streaming data. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll create a database in SQLite. Uh, we'll create a table and then we will stream that data into said table. Uh, we'll go over some of the attributes, um, like username, uh, content of the, of the actual tweets, retweets, followers, um, etc. Uh, so <clears throat> I am using uh, Python 3.6. Uh, we'll be using the SQLite 3, JSON, and Tweepy uh, libraries within Python. I'm currently uh, using a, a file that I have private that masks my Twitter off um, keys for like my access token as well as like my consumer secret key and so forth. Uh, I'm also using DB Browser to view the data in SQLite. Uh, links to all of this will be in the description of the video. Uh, you can go out and install SQLite, DB Browser, as well as whatever libraries you need. Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> okay. So first off, what I need to do is um, I'll show you the database in SQLite first. I currently uh, already have the database. I have one table in there titled Tweets. Uh, let's view that data. And it'll look something like this. Uh, you'll have the created favorite count, retweet count. You'll have the link to the text as well as like what what's being um, tweeted. You can see of those users, like what their follower account is, what their location is. A lot of that data is based on what's in their profile. So you're only gonna get data of that user if they've chosen to fill that out within their profile. Okay. All right, so for this lesson, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a second table. I'm just gonna call it tweets two, as well as down here, you'll see in my insert statement, um, tweets two. But first off, let's create this table. At any point, you can pause this video if you need, if you, you know, for you to type out the script. Um, cop, feel free to copy what's what's on here. All right. So first off, I'm gonna gonna run this, and then you'll. <clears throat> oh, that's right. Table tweets two already exists. All right. Let's go out to my database. Oh, yep, we need the, the changes to be saved. I deleted it. <clears throat> All right, let's reopen it. I'm gonna open database. All right, and let's try this again. Uh, so for what happened there is uh, I previously had tweets to already here uh, for testing. I deleted it. Um, for that deletion to uh, save, um, you need to back out or save save your database. So that's why it was preventing. All right, so let's let's commit this, and you'll see uh, my console, everything you know, successful. We'll go out here. Um, I will browse data, and then I'm going to refresh right here, and then a drop down. You'll see tweets too, and right now there's no data in here. Um, <clears throat> all right, so now I no longer want this to be my script, so I'm going to comment out this out. I'm going to hit Control. Or within Spider, I am using the Spider IDE. All right, so I'll just slowly scroll down here. So what we're going to be using is the Stream Listener class, which within Tweepy, uh, and then we're going to specify kind of using the JSON, uh, like the object not notation, on how we want that data to come through. So <clears throat> you can go out to the Twitter API documentation. I believe it's like I think it's located on dev.twitter.com. Um, but uh, you can just Google Twitter API documentation and you can see all the available uh, variables and attributes that you can collect on the user. Um, this is going to be my insert statement into the, to the table. And then down here is going to be my, this is my authentication um, with my account that's uh, pulling this data. And then here's the, the, the streaming data. Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's control a, um, make sure we got everything highlighted and then, uh, I am using the hashtag Star Wars. 
So let's see what people are tweeting about uh, on the hashtag Star Wars. All right, you'll see my console is currently running. So I'm going to go out to my DB browser for SQLite. I'm going to hit refresh. There's, there's already seven tweets. And you can start to see, like, this user is in Albuquerque. You can see, because it's an open text. Like, this person says, land of couch potato. Um, yeah, got my eyes on Star Wars socks. Yeah, everything's... And then you scroll over, you can see, like, what time zone they're in. Uh, some of their offset. You can see how many friends that user has. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this data. Let's hit refresh again. We're up to 46. So this data is coming in real time, and you're only going to get data. So if you use a hashtag that's not popular, uh, the, the velocity and the volume of the data is going to be much smaller. I chose a popular hashtag that's being used right now. Uh, so let's uh, let's hit refresh. And as you can see, um, Twitter does put some limitations on how much data you can retrieve. So uh, just keep that in mind. Um, if, if you exceed the amount of pull request or um, request of data, uh, Twitter will time you out. It'll put you to sleep for, I want to say, like 500 seconds or something like that. I can't remember the, the actual timeout period. Um, but as you can see, it's just pulling data. It's working as, as intended. And what I'll do now is I'll, I'll kind of slowly scroll down so that you can... Um, you can copy what's being done here. Then at any given point, you can just pause the video. All right, let's make sure we covered everything. That should be that should be the whole script. All right, let's check it one more time. We will hit refresh. 139 tweets, not bad. You know, for a minute or two. All right, if you guys have any questions or comments. Um, Feel free to uh, leave those down in the, the comments field. If, if you have any problems, uh, I'll try to assist if, if you have any issues. But this this should be pretty straightforward. There's nothing too complex about this other than uh, making sure you get your path path environment variables correct as, as well as uh, building the database first and creating that table. Those were some of the more trickier things in the beginning. But this should, this should, should be pretty straightforward. All right, well, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Take care.